From the previous video you've learned how to swap images on hover but now I'll show you how to use the same thing but for a grid of images. You will be able to create as many columns as you want and this thing will be useful for e-commerce websites so you will be able to uh, create interactive uh, cards for your products. Let's start with a blank page. Here I already have some images prepared and uploaded. All images have uh, the same size. And also important thing here is the sequence of your actions. Uh, first thing you need to do is to define the structure of your grid. You need to do that before you start making code customizations, since you won't be able to go back to this thing after we start uh, making custom code. Uh, here you can define how many columns you want, their padding, and whether you want it to be a single column on mobile or not. I'm going to go with just two columns. Then uh, you need to drag and drop an image to each column. And if you click Code View, you will see something like that. This line is your first column or rather your first element and this line is your second element. Let's add some more structures so uh, you will see now how it works. Uh, here we need to wrap this image into a new div tag. And instead of uh, adding an ID, uh, we will add a class here. Class equals first. Let's just copy this line and paste it straight above and change first into second and change the number of our image into two. So you can change your numbers according to uh, what exactly you want to be placed here, but I'm just going to use uh, my images which is like one and two. And one last thing here is to wrap uh, these both images into uh, one more tag. So yeah, it's gonna be looking like that. And here we need to add one more class called image wrapper. Yeah, now it's ready. One element is ready and we need to do the same for uh, this uh, element, but we can just copy this line and paste it here. And instead of one and two, let's say three and four. And the thing you will see now is that we have like all images placed uh, one under another. Uh, the most important thing here is just do not press this icon once again if you want to make corrections because uh, Cargo helps you to build your code and uh, our structure will be ruined if you will press this icon. Uh, now when you start creating these custom classes you uh, need to do everything manually. And let's go to CSS editor. Let's hide the second image first. Uh, let's say dot second, that's how we call classes. And here we need to add an attribute display none. Yeah, now it's hidden. And let's make a hover effects. Uh, let's say dot image wrapper. Hover. And here instead of display none, uh, we need to say display block. Yeah, now <laughs> it's placed uh, under the first image, so how to change that? Copy these lines and uh, make a little bit changes like first and display none. So when you hover, one image uh, is going to be hidden, one image is going to appear. That's really simple. Um, let's say that and uh, check how it looks. Now you see that everything looks correct. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted, except one uh, small problem. You can see this plus icon and if I click an image, uh, it will be looking like that. So how to fix this thing? 
how to make it not clickable. Uh, go back to your code view and add no zoom equals true to each image. So that's how we can restrict zooming. And if uh, we will go back to our website, you can see now that if I click an image, nothing happens. That's how we create it to elements, but you can upload more images here. And if you hover over them, you will see a small hint uh, with their numbers. This is kind of easy way how to check uh, which one is which. And if you need to add more elements, just go back to your code view and copy this block. Now let's add two more elements. Now you can see that I have just four elements and also you can change a number of these uh, images so you can replace them or do whatever you want and also uh, you can add some text here how we can create uh, product cards with price and uh, the title and you can also uh, use just uh, multiply line text or whatever you want this is kind of easy thing to do thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tips about cargo customization and uh, check my other videos where i'm telling how to create a button from a piece of text and uh, let me know what else you want me uh, to talk about. Goodbye.